Right, so here we are. Ignore the noise outside, it's a bit rainy and windy as you probably know. Car's not parked against the wall, when the car's parked against the wall I can fit one car there. I can fit two foot between the cars and another car before the 600 wide bench, if that gives you an idea of the space I'm trying to heat. And it's about three foot, four foot longer than the car, and seven foot maybe. And I heat here quite easily. So, there's my controller. These are my settings. It's been on 10 minutes and we've gone up a degree already. There's my duct in, there's the main one, there's the slave one. Ignore the caravan carpets currently in here drying out. Changed my battery yesterday from the ledger battery because I put that back in the caravan so ignore the wiring that's a little bit messy but 10 litre tank of diesel, car battery, car battery charger that's borrowed from my dad, I need a new one that's a bit more efficient and this is the fun bit. So I've boxed it in because I found that the more heat I regenerate off the exhaust you put back to the intakes apart from on a warmer day it shuts down because it gets a bit too hot so I take the board out of the way but at winter when it's like this if you've got a board and you put fins on the exhaust like I have done it keeps in this place 35 degrees because of the heat coming off them fins so because you're putting 35 degrees heat through it it makes it more efficient over the heat sink with a slower fan rate you get more heat out of the heat sink and it heats this space pretty well that 10 litre tank lasts me about three full weekends if that gives you an idea sometimes a bit longer it depends if I turn it on and off to it which uses more fuel I ignore the pipe and the wire layout I just moved them out of the way the other day when I boxed it in which so far has made it a lot more efficient so yeah simple as that really <laughs> 